What's going on YouTube? Florida Man Knives here with an unboxing of another Grail Knife. I am extremely excited about this. I had just recently unboxed the Dodo and now I'm going to be opening another Spyderco Grail. And what's really cool about this one is that I actually did purchase this from another YouTuber. Uh, the YouTuber is actually going to be Spidey Chick and I will put a link to her description in the a link to her channel in the description there we go below um great channel she's got a really great voice to listen to as well and then also she has an instagram page so this if you do follow her on instagram as i mentioned is a spider co and you might know what it is opening it up it's gonna be a nice small box and that's because it's going to be the lava <laughs> the sprint run lava in blue g10 Man, this is super, super nice. I've always wanted to get a spider coat in this blue G10, and then I've always wanted a lava, specifically this one. It's always been a grail of mine. It's a super unique knife, just like the Dodo, and I just love spider coat and all of their unique knives in general. So if you're curious about it, you can go ahead and pause the video right here, but I will definitely get into the details of this knife as I'm opening it up and going over it. <laughs> there it is so you can see right now it's going to be set up for left hand carry but it looks like that's going to be a standard spider coat clip if it is i will probably put a deep carry blue pocket clip on here <laughs> this thing is so nice this blue color is incredible it's everything i have seen in pictures like i said i've always wanted a spider coat in this color so here we are opening it up <laughs> This thing is just really, really cool. Oh, wow. Okay, so ergonomically, just like the Dodo, if you watch my video on that, this fits my hand exactly as I anticipated it would. That is not going anywhere. Talk about ergonomics. Man, this is crazy. So, <laughs> all right, the original Dodo, or the original Lava, excuse me, <laughs> had stainless steel scales, uh, not G10 and was introduced in 2006 and was actually discontinued in 2009. So uh, although it was a popular knife in the very beginning, unfortunately it was discontinued like a lot of the more unique Spider Co's, but in 2006, it actually was selected as the Spider Co Forums knife. So they actually did a 140 uh, special, specially engraved Spider Co Lavas uh, for that, and then in September of 2013, they released this particular model right here. So, uh, of course, again, the blue G10 scales, it still is going to feature VG10 steel, full flat grind, <laughs> very sharp on this particular model. And look at that, you get a sharpening choil. <laughs> a lot of the newer Spydercos don't have that, but a lot of the old Spydercos, especially the unique designs from individual manufacturer or knife designers excuse me that they don't really collaborate with frequently they always will include a sharpening choil and i definitely appreciate that and this particular sprint run as i said was released in 2013 and there were only 1200 of these made so definitely a very exclusive knife any of the spider coats in this blue g10 are going to be very exclusive and then the lava in general, of course, is a very rare knife because the original ones were made so long ago. So this was designed by Chad Los Banos. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right or not. You can see that is going to be his maker's mark, little designer's symbol there. Love that. It's a really unique signature as opposed to like just, you know, some initials or his name, for example and he is a Hawaiian native, so he apparently was developing this knife when he was working as a corrections officer on Hawaii's Big Island, and so the knife design, as you can see, is very unique, but it does put the blade down pretty low, so the idea of that is with this negative blade angle you can see, it's going to put the cutting edge lower than your index finger when you're using the knife, so the idea behind that is that it's going to put your wrist in alignment and just be really really nice and natural for cutting and opening things up definitely i would say that's going to be the case you know this will be predominantly a box opener and small edc task knife but 
<laughs> as I've said in a lot of my other videos, if you watch any of my videos where I talk about the Dragonfly 2, I love small blades because most of my tasks don't really require anything too large. You know, you're going to be cutting zip ties or opening too many Amazon packages and, you know, things like that. So, man, this is just so nice. I'm so excited right now. It's... <laughs> Same thing with the dodo. It's just really nice when you've always wanted a knife and especially a really unique one and it fulfills your expectations. It's everything that you hoped it would be. <laughs> this thing is fantastic. So you can see on the back lock right here, it is going to be featuring a boy safety dent right there. I don't really address that in any of my other videos. I will make a video on that specifically, but that's just so that when you're Gripping down on the knife, you're not going to depress the lock in any way. Uh, one thing that is also very nice about this is, you know, because it is such a small knife and it's not very large in width, uh, this would definitely be fantastic for any hand size. You know, I do have extra large hands or larger depending on the glove size, but this would be fantastic for people with small hands, medium, it doesn't matter for sure. And, you know, this is just a great example of why I love Spyderco. You know, I just really love the unique designs and especially designs that are going to be, you know, designed in the dark, basically, where it's focused on ergonomics. You know, these little big knives where the handles really fill out your hands, but you're going to get a sub two inch blade typically. And I just think that's really unique and really functional, more importantly. So he, uh, Chad Lisbonos, back to him, he does do a lot of designs for Boker. Uh, such as the subcom, so you might have seen some other designs from him. Typically, they're going to be smaller knives like this, <laughs> which is fantastic. So that's going to lead me to the specs of this knife. Uh, I didn't address the specs right away because this is not still in production. And I know a lot of people, you know, they'll be going to look at a video and look for the specs immediately if it's a new knife. But anyways, on this, you are going to have an overall length of 5.25 inches. Your blade length, as I said, is going to be under 2 inches. Coming in at 1.86, your handle length is going to be 3.39 inches. And then your cutting edge on this blade, because of that four finger choil and then a nice little sharpening choil, is going to be 1.47 inches. <laughs> Very, very functional, you know, pretty stout for the size. Your blade thickness is going to be 0 0.098 inches. And then again, VG10 steel. And of course, it's going to be a Seiki City Japan Spider Co. with that VG10. And a lot of their older models were Seiki City knives as well. So just really, really unique. I'm so happy to have this thing in hand. Again, this has been a grill knife for me. <laughs> you know, I'll admit, not necessarily to the degree of the Swish Bowie or the Dodo, but <laughs> this was right up there. <laughs> there are a lot of knives from Spyderco that I've always wanted, but this is definitely in my top five. And so bringing out some other knives to compare it to, I keep mentioning the Dodo because I just unboxed it. So here it is for comparison, you can see the overall blade length is definitely going to be a little bit longer and the full handle is for sure going to be longer. Definitely a more substantial knife overall. And then for something a little bit smaller, you've got the Spyderco Dragonfly 2. I've got multiple variants of this knife. This is my favorite knife of all time. It's just incredible. And there you can see the Dragonfly 2 is also going to have a little bit longer of a cutting edge and blade but the weight is also going to be lower on the Dragonfly 2, and that's going to be because this does have FRN as opposed to the G10 scales with stainless steel liners. And you can see these liners are, not, oh, they are milled out, okay. That's pretty good. It looks like they're going to be milled out right there in that section, so that's a nice added touch. I will pull the scale out and check the weight on this after I go through some other comparisons. So you do have, of course, the Delica right here. And then all of the other spider goes are going to be substantially larger, so really no need to pull them out. Uh, the only other smaller spider goes that I do have right here on hand, great one would be the Meerkat. <laughs> Fantastic knife, you can see that is very comparable in overall size. And the Meerkat's another sprint run. This one is featuring the Phantom Lock. <laughs> another one of spider goes little big knives. And then one of Spyderco's little knives in general. This one was a 2017 Sprint Run Spyderco Baby Horn. 
and that just makes a great combo right there but anyways back into the lava <laughs> because it is you know designed by a hawaii native someone who lives in hawaii that is why it is called the lava of course you know from the uh, volcanoes there um, i've never been to hawaii definitely on my bucket list and i know that there is actually couple of people that have some channels and do comment on my videos that are from Hawaii so if you, if you watch this please comment on this video I would love to hear from you and man I just am loving this blue g10 loving the ergonomics of this thing I'm honestly liking it more than I even expected um, you know a couple of different ways you can grip up here and then <laughs> I mean my index is so much longer than the blade this thing is just fantastic very very smooth you know definitely going to be uh, a lot tighter of a back lock but you can see how the angle of that bar comes down and locks in just like any other back lock would you've got some nice jimping right here on the spine and on the forward forefinger choil and then checking the blade centering on this particular knife <laughs> that is spot on wow i'm <laughs> that's perfect all right well this knife is, uh, <laughs> it's just like I saw in Spidey Chick's pictures. Huge thank you to her. I, <laughs> I'm just I'm so excited to have this knife in hand. This is phenomenal. I, <laughs> This has been a crazy week for myself. I'm just so lucky and fortunate to be able to own the knives that I do. You know, to be able to achieve a grail knife is just something really special. You know, this one in particular is not going to be crazy expensive necessarily, but everything is relative. You know, it's not a cheap knife by any means. You know, you do have right here a lanyard hole above the pocket clip, which is definitely a complaint of mine. But once I put a deep carry clip on here, I won't have any complaints on this knife at all. And then it will be definitely a little bit more personalized to myself. <laughs> As you can see, it opens and closes very well. It's the Spyderco Lava Sprint Run from 2013 in Blue G10. I just am so excited right now. So excited that I got it with the box as well. That is just fantastic. You can see the lettering C110GPBL for blue, of course. If you're a Spyderco fan, you definitely will know what those numbers mean, and you can look them up on the Spidey Wiki. And then this page is basically going to address everything that I had stated earlier about him being a corrections officer and then the lava follows a form takes a form follows function design approach um, similar to the dodo it was basically designed in the dark although i think this is probably for most people a much better looking knife just so unique so fantastic i love this blue kind of reminds me actually of the oh man just really i gotta redo that Reminds me of the blue, here we go, on the Spyderco Siren liners. You can see right there for comparison. <laughs> this is just so cool. <laughs> so happy I have this in hand, I can't stop laughing. Um, here is going to be another blue knife. Figured to bring, you know, bring some blue knives out. The Spider or Ontario Knife Company, Wraith Glacier Ice Series. <laughs> Man, just. I'm so happy to have this in hand. <laughs> Can't stop saying that. And, you know, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments of this knife. You know, super unique. Really, really just, again, so fortunate to have this. I've been looking for one of these for a long time. And either, you know, the price is going to be just way too high, typically on eBay. <laughs> or they're just not going to be in a great condition you know this is basically like brand new i mean the edge i don't know if that's wearing a factory edge or not i'm gonna assume that is not a factory edge but i could be wrong i don't know this side looks pretty polished this side not quite as much let's see keep unboxing too many knives so not quite shaving sharp but I'm running out of hair on this orb to shave it off anyways. Uh, I definitely will strop this thing up, polish it up, and get a nice, nice clean edge on here. Although it is definitely more than sharp enough for everyday tasks. <laughs> definitely can't wait to put a new pocket clip on here. 
and I will definitely be posting some pictures of this on my Instagram. I do have an Instagram if you were not aware. Florida Man Knives, just like the channel. <laughs> Man, it's the lava. Another really unique knife from Spyderco. It's just a grail knife for me, as I said. It's just, I love these things. It's always, you know, kind of ironic to me that I have such big hands and love these really tiny knives. But again, that's just one of the reasons I love Spyderco. I mean, ergonomically, this is just phenomenal. I love the shape of this handle, you know, just there's no sharp angles in here, so there's going to be no hot spots. You know, maybe there'll be a hot spot with a deep carry pocket clip for some people. That never bothers me. <laughs> wow, yeah. Spider go lava sprint run. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I really appreciate everyone watching. At the time of this recording, I am really close to 500 subscribers, so we will see if I will have hit that mark by the time I do post this video. But I really appreciate all the support and all the comments. Uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to interacting with a lot of you in the comments. <laughs> and I just look forward to using this knife. Um, I will definitely be using this. As I said, this is going to be a user, not a collector's item for myself. And I definitely will not be selling this. <laughs> Um, you know, anytime you get a grail knife in hand, it's there's always that little bit of you that's going to be like, okay, maybe it's not going to feel how I expected. Maybe I won't like it as much. You know, maybe I would want to sell it down the road. Nope, not the case with this one. So I am just so happy. It's everything I wanted it to be and hoped for. <laughs> Florida Man Knives here. Thanks for watching.